Hello everyone, it's Olga Heldwein here and today romantic layout with lemon craft. Uh, this video is part of Summer with Lemon Craft. Check out the video description for more details and let's go to the work. So first step is preparing the paper. You can use clear gesso. So I ran out so I use really thin coat of jaw medium. And my next step is preparing pieces for my composition. I'm cutting some uh, small parts and some paper leftovers for stripes. Uh, I will assemble whole background uh, from them, so I need quite a few. I'm mixing my own uh, bluish turquoise color uh, from 13 arts acrylic paints those are translucent paints so they will give me really nice effect they will be not super opaque on paper uh, it will be easier to extend the beautiful pattern from paper to my composition and make it one cohesive piece So first I stamped a little bit whole area that I'm planning to put my composition on uh, and then I assembled first layer of my background. Uh, I just stick all those pieces of paper with gel medium directly onto my background. When I'm happy with my first layer, I'm adding the next one. It will be laces and cheesecloth and something like that and put the next layer of paper on top of that to mix everything together. And when I was happy with that, I just put some fan foam uh, under my paper and I punch out uh, holes along the ruler. Thanks to that I can add some hand stitching here and there around my page. Uh, I sew also uh, some layers of cheesecloth and threads to assemble nice fluffy uh, background layer uh, and then I added a little bit of this blue because it was some kind of lost and I really wanted to uh, blue be main theme of this work. Next step is assembling composition from the elements from uh, lemon craft. We have those ephemera bags and I use few cards from that. I just trim them and stack them one on top of the other, distress edges with my fingers a little bit and assemble together with my photo on top of this chipboard frame. From uh, silver wire I assembled two rings, one a little bit bigger, second one is smaller and I stuck my frame with composition directly on the background and I placed my rings on top of it. Um, I thread them down with a needle and some thread. Um, this way I don't have to glue it and I can easily hide the threading uh, under the next layer. 
I cut out some uh, leaves with a die cut and I prepared some flowers and I put them all together um, in really loose breath. I don't want to have heavy and build up composition in one place. I decided that it will be the best if I will um, just make it like a breath uh, to frame my photo. Uh, so I distressed my leaves with uh, ink and I smudged them with my fingers to have nice dimensional elements to put inside my breath. I mixed a little bit of brown acrylic paint and I diluted highly with uh, water uh, and I just add uh, adding it like aquarel and creating just brown stain around my breath uh, and I'm doing it with acrylic paint because I want to have nice dry brush uh, layer of gesso on top of it and everything that it's water soluble will react with water uh, and diluted aquarel will not react with water, will not react with my gesso so I can apply it with spatula uh, to combine everything together and create this nice stain of color under my composition I just extend my colors a little bit with spatula and blend with gesso the last step is taking a fluffy brush and dry brush all the composition uh, but I'm trying to avoid dry brushing the background too much I just want to have nice white layer on top of my flowers um, a few drops of uh, Nouveau uh, jewel drops and some splashes with white splash will finish up old look and add nice whimsical feel to whole work and I'm really 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 like how this piece turned out I just add a small title with some stickers and here you can see uh, how my work uh, look when it's ready and some nice photos and close-ups especially for you so I had so much fun with creating this one and I'm strongly encourage you to check out the description box I will put some info uh, in that and join us with summer with lemon craft you can win a nice prize pack and it's weekly video tutorials so check it out and please subscribe to this channel to be always updated with new stuff that are coming up so thank you so much for your attention have a nice and creative day with lemon craft bye bye